Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have two more animal power food mixers for you guys to review. Two really compact and handy little mods indeed. These will work great on small farms, big farms, doesn't really matter. Look how small they are. So first up we'll be taking a look at the Placeable Mix Master Cow Forage Machine. The file size for that is 16.57 megabytes. And next we'll be taking a look at the Placeable Pig Master or sorry, the placeable pig feed master pig forage machine. File size for that is 12.57 megabytes. So what I'll do guys is I'll explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will test them out and show you just how these work. So let's get started. So this mix master here I had for about a week now. I just wanted to hold on to it because I figured this guy wouldn't be long before the uh, matching one came out. So that one just came out today. So I figured I'd uh, review the both of them. So we'll start over here with the placeable mix master forage cow forage machine file size once again is 16.57 megabytes price in the shop is 85,000 with a 120 dollar a day maintenance fee now you're going to have to put input three items to get this up and going you need grass straw or silage not sure if you could put hay in there too but i'd imagine it'll take either or and you get an output of total mix ration which is forage now it takes 30,000 liters of each and it'll the tank holds I think 100,000 but when when this thing shuts down you're going to have 80% in the tank which is 72,000. And it takes 3 hours and 9 minutes in game time to process a full tank. So let's go over and we'll take a little look at this. See how small it is, very very compact. Um, some of the triggers are a little touchy. You might have to like pull away from the machine a little bit for the uh, proper trigger to work. And there was one thing over here, I do believe, I was trying to put uh, sugar beets in this and I had to go really close to the soybean to get it in. But indeed, I did get all six in here. So yeah, it's everything's nicely labeled there. You got a little uh, display over here to show you your increments. Let me bring up my HUD here. And there you go. Let's go over the shop and we'll take a look at this. Both will be under placeables. Both these are direct downloads too and error free. So that is really good. There they both are there. There is the mix master for $85,000. $120 a day maintenance fee and it shows you all the things that it takes and makes. Okay. This is called the placeable pig feed mixer pig forage machine. File size for this is 12.57 megabytes. Price in the shop is 85,000 with a $120 a day maintenance fee. Now this one takes a little bit longer to process through uh, the items. And this needs three different things too. But as you can see by the sign over here, this one will take either or wheat or barley. This one you need to put soybean in. And this one here can take any one of those five items. Uh, canola, corn, sunflower, potatoes, and sugar beets. And you grab your finished product out of the pipe, of course. Let's take a little look at the uh, monitor here. I'll bring back up my HUD. You can see what everything looks like there over on the side. And yeah, everything's digitally displayed. So we'll go over here, guys, and we'll start filling this thing up. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of lag because I do have a bunch of stuff going on here. But actually, I'd like to put the soybean in first just because I did that last time and it seemed to work out pretty good. So let's try this again. I will try to time them again. I didn't get the pig forage machine how long that took, but uh, the cow mixing machine, cow forage mix mixing machine took three hours and nine minutes in game time, so that's not bad. Well, it's not even going to work for me this time. That is soybean is it yes see how I'm a little bit away from it so you just gotta watch out for stuff like that sometimes you might have to pull like to the side of the trigger a little bit but I did get everything in there okay so you seen that holds a hundred thousand liters yes these uh the pig food master here takes 100,000 liters of each item so it holds more than the uh, cow forage mixing machine Next up, we'll put in whatever's in here, barley. Hopefully we'll get that in there, nice. 
And then I'll start filling up the other one so we can get them both filled at the same time. And we can figure out the time from there. Okay, let's back this guy up. I just love how small and compact these are. Don't take up much room, and I mean, there's your animals taken care of. I'll be adding these to my little farm over in uh, Spectacle Island. They'll go in very nicely on my small little map. Okay, let's start filling up that forage making machine. We only got one more product to put in the uh, pig forage maker. That's the uh, sunflower we have there. This is straw, and that goes in the first one. So let's hope everything works out here. Okay. Yeah, you're, you, you, you would think you'd have to back right up to that, but look how far away I am. And that was the trigger there, so... Some people were saying they were having some pretty rough times getting it in there. They thought it might not even have worked, but indeed it does. Grass in next. That should go right in the middle. I think this one I might have problems with. See the the thing's showing up, but there we go. See what I mean? Okay, look, that didn't go in, did it? Because sometimes you'll see the unload symbol and it won't come out, like now. See that? I'm right in the middle of those two, but look, indeed it did work, guys. And look how off of the trigger I am. Hopefully they fix that in the next version, but as long as you can get it in there, just have a little patience, you will get it. Okay, let's put the final two ingredients in. Kick this guy up. Keep an eye on our clock there. It's 11.28 right now, so we'll get the pig forage machine up and running first. Because that one takes a bit longer. Hopefully this will work first time. I'm just going to try offsetting it right away. No. See, that's pretty much in the middle for that. But as you can see, I got it all in there. 100,000 liters. There you go. And you. Some silage in there. <clears throat> Eleven twenty-nine. Last one over. Let's try putting this one in a little closer to get the unload symbol pretty quick there. And let's keep backing up. No. Let me pull it to the side a little bit more. So that one's completely filled. So you can see that they hold pig forage machine holds 100,000 liters of each. Cow forage machine holds 30,000 liters of each. So we get 11:30 on the clock, folks. And I am going to time lapse time lapse this. I'm going to get this truck out of the way first, and we'll watch the cow forage machine because that one finishes first. So over here. Let's get a good look at that. Okay, kick it up. You see this, the uh, little things come on there. I want to show you that actually. See that? Awesome.
Okay, guys. 14.38 on the clock. That took exactly the same amount of time. Three hours and eight minutes instead of three hours and nine minutes. Yeah, in game time. So just uh, just over three hours, guys, in game time for that to totally process. You can see it went through the first two ingredients there pretty quick. There's still all kinds of straw left. So this one will do pretty much the same thing. It'll use up two and uh, there'll be some left over. So let's speed up time and we'll still go by the 1130. So it took five hours and 20 minutes, guys, in game time. <clears throat> to process a full tank you can see there's still lots of ingredient left but the tank only holds a hundred thousand here pretty sure yes a hundred thousand and this one only this one probably holds close to a hundred thousand too but it ran out of ingredient and you can see that's at 80 percent 72 thousand so yes five hours 20 minutes in game time for that to process and the other one's three hours and nine minutes to process that. So let's unload these. Okay, guys, I got two semis here already to go. I'm going to start filling this up. And I'll jump over in the other one and get him going as well. So there you go. There's those two filling up. Now look how fast that was. I know I had all the ingredients sitting there, but all that power food's already made. Very handy, very nice little mods. They work perfectly. Let me show you the log here, guys. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. And they're so small, too, so you can put them on any little tiny farm you want. So, yeah, once the uh, once you empty the pig forge machine, that's ready to go again. But don't forget, that's the one that holds 100,000 liters of each. This one only holds a third of that at 30,000 liters. That one's done. I'll just show you the amounts in them. Jump in here. Bring up my HUD. 72,036% pure forage. Here we got pig food and it's still filling up. It's probably getting close now. There's a, yeah, that's it. You can see there's a display on the side. 100,000 liters, 50% full. Excellent. So there you have it, folks. That was the placeable mix master cow forge machine. File size for that is 16.57 megabytes. And then we have the placeable pig feed mixer pig food forage machine. File size for that is 12.57 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it really helps out so until next time take care and I will see you all in the next one